yesterday about the importance of uh, not gathering. He spoke about it again. Then later yesterday, you spoke about planning a, a Thanksgiving with your mother and your daughters. What led to the turnabout and then the second turnabout that you wouldn't dine no, I with I said that? my plan was to be with my mother and two of my daughters, which would have been four people which is well within the 10 people that we set. Uh, one daughter couldn't get back from Chicago. I have three daughters. And that had been the current plan uh, that we had been talking about, as I said to you before. I had always been talking about Thanksgiving as the day that we were going to be together. Uh, but I also said in the same discussion that's the current plan, but the plan is subject to change and that I have to work. Uh, and because of that, it's not, well, I'm going to be working, but it's also not smart for me to be with my mother because I'm working. With a senior citizen, which she doesn't take that back, if I call her a senior citizen, I'm in trouble. With a, with a mother like mine, you want to be very careful. I could take a negative test just before I sat with her, and that does not mean I'm negative. And if I gave it to my mother, it would be a bad thing. What I could have done is I could have stayed home after yesterday until Thanksgiving, quarantined for three days, if you will, and then taken a test and had no exposure. That would have been safer. But none of this is foolproof, but that would have been reasonable and safe for my mother. Like, let's say I wanted to see my mother on Thanksgiving. I could have stayed home yesterday after the last event I did, press conference, stay home until Thanksgiving, take a test. I didn't see anybody else for three days, uh, have four people, which is within our guidance. But I have to work today, which is what I'm doing, and tomorrow. Uh, so I wouldn't, it's too risky to see my mother. That statement not contradict what you had preached earlier in the day. You're bringing your mother up, your daughters up. We're going to get together. And that's no, what no, it no. sounded I'm, like. That's no, what it no. sounded it like. Did. I never said that's four people. The rule is less than ten. I never said to anyone, "You should be alone." Everybody but combining pods, though, bringing people from outside your immediate circle. The CDC's guidance is only your household. I just said their guidance is stronger than ours. Ours is no more than 10. You can be with your mother. A lot of people are going to be with their mother. Safe is you should be quarantined, removed from other people, and take a test. I'm not in a position to do that. I'm going to work today, I'm going to work tomorrow, and I'm going to work on Thanksgiving. Uh, so that would be reckless. But, yeah, you have to, people should celebrate Thanksgiving. Just do it smartly and intelligently. You can be with four people. Uh, we say you shouldn't be with more than ten. CDC says don't bring anyone else into your pod. But, you know, Nobody said sit alone in your room and lock the door, right? Hello? Me? No, we're going to have dinner together because we're going to do a uh, Thanksgiving briefing. So you and me and Zach and Peter, we're all going to be together for Thanksgiving. Albany or uh, down here? I don't know. Why? You want to do Albany here? Maybe we do both. <laughs> we can zoom you in. Yeah, no, no zoom. No zoom. I like the, something about feeling each other's presence on Thanksgiving. <laughs>
about New York City and the three percent, I think some of the confusion is just that Mayor de Blasio seems to be waiting for all of New York City to hit a three percent in order to figure out a strategy to reopen schools, to test all the students out, to like, you know, work on that. Um, are you in communication with his administration to figure out how to reopen those areas that are not at the three percent? Yeah. Yes, but that's not the issue. The issue is the mayor closed the schools because by the mayor's calculus, he hit the point where he said he would close the schools. Uh, he hit, the, the city calculates their numbers differently than we do. The number happened to be three in both cases. Our three is a firmer three because we require that it be in place for a longer period of time. So it's like a more conservative three, if you will. Uh, but he hit three and he closed the schools. It's totally in his discretion now. When it hits three on the state scale, then the state law kicks in. Right now it's up to him. Okay, guys, don't make plans for Thanksgiving, Zach. All right, be safe. Let's give out some turkeys.